There's a bright red tractor on Spring Hill Farm Who's always hard at work or play A farmer fee's got a problem or a job to be done It's Tractor Tom that saves the day Here's Tractor Tom Tom, 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 Tom What would we do without you? It was almost harvest time at Spring Hill Farm. The time of year when Wheezy, the combine harvester, was usually really busy. But Wheezy wasn't feeling very well. Even though he hadn't done any harvesting yet, he felt completely worn out. Oh dear, Wheezy. You sound awful. I'd better give Matt a call. Matt was reading his favourite book, which was all about flying saucers and spacemen. Wow! It says here some people have actually been kidnapped by spacemen. They beam you up into their spaceships while you're asleep. They keep you there all night, we then beam you back again. And you don't remember a thing. Here is the news. Beckton farmers fear for their crops as large circular areas are found flattened. Did you hear that, Rev? Residents have also reported strange noises and flashing lights during the night. Wow! Fantastic! Still in Beckton, a sheep has been captured after abseiling from the town hall Crop roof. circles, strange noises and flashing lights. Don't you see, Rev? It's obvious. There must be spacemen right here in Beckton. Just wait till I tell Fee. Ah, oh, Matt! I was just going to call you. So you've heard about the Beckton spacemen, then? Spacemen? I don't know what you're talking about, Matt. It was on the radio. Crop circles, strange noises, flashing lights. No, I didn't hear it. Actually, I just wanted you to take a look at Wheezy. Oh, right. Well, I've checked everything and I can't find anything wrong with him. He says he feels tired all the time. Well, he's getting on a bit. Maybe he's not sleeping properly. Or maybe he was kidnapped by spacemen. <laughs> oh, Matt, you've got spacemen on the brain. No, wait, that's it. He's been spending all night in their spaceship. That's why he's so tired. Don't be daft, Matt. Why on earth would spacemen want to kidnap a combine harvester? <laughs> but Matt wasn't put off. He'd made up his mind that spacemen were visiting Beckton. And that night, he and Rev set off to keep a lookout for them. Hmm. They won't be laughing when we see the spacemen, Rev. We'll be in the papers and everything. We'll probably be famous. All we've got to do is keep our eyes open. But as the night went on, Rev and Matt found it harder and harder to stay awake. I tell you, a spaceship must have landed here. Wait till I tell Fee. This time she's got to believe me. Wake up, Wheezy. It's morning. How are you feeling today? 
still tired after a whole night's sleep, eh? I just hope you're going to be fit enough to do the harvesting. Fee! Fee! Hi, Matt. What's up? You'll never guess. Rev and I stayed up all night keeping a lookout for the spaceman, and they arrived! What? You mean you actually saw them? Well, no, we didn't actually see them, but as good as. Oh, you mean you saw their spaceship? Well, not really, but we did see the spot where their spaceship landed, didn't we, Rev? Oh, right. Wow. That's amazing, Matt. Don't you believe me? Of course I do, Matt, but I have got a lot on my mind at the moment. I'm really worried about Wheezy. And, uh, I've got to feed Purdy. Tell me about it later, OK? Oh, OK. See you later, then. I don't think she believes me, Rev. Hey, hang on. I've got another great idea. We'll keep a watch out again tonight. But this time, we'll take pictures. There'll be no mistakes this time, Rev. I've got coffee to keep me awake and a video camera to record whatever we see. While Matt and Rev set off to look for the spaceman, Fee was settling everyone down for the night. Now listen, Tom, I've fixed this bell up. So if Wheezy is restless during the night, he'll wake you. If that happens, you come and get me, OK? Night, everyone! And soon, everyone was fast asleep. Everyone, except Matt and Rev, that is. I reckon tonight will be the night, Rev. This time tomorrow, we'll be famous. The first ones to get pictures of spacemen. Oh, oh, oh. Looks like we're in business. No, you're right. It's a plane. Hang on. What have we here? Yes, it's a car. Back at the farm, all was quiet. Until suddenly... Tom thought Wheezy was sleepwalking. So he went to wake Fia. Goodness, Tom, what's going on? Where's Wheezy going at this time of night? You think he's sleepwalking? Oh, right. Well, come on, we'd better follow him. Meanwhile, Matt and Rev were still keeping a lookout. What's that? There's no one around at this time of night. It must be a spaceship. This is it. Got to get it on video. Oh! Ah! Ah! It's horrible. What are you doing here? We followed Wheezy and we found out what's been causing your crop circles. We found out why Wheezy's so tired too. He's been sleepwalking, you see. He's sleepwalked all the way out here. And now he's sleep harvesting. Oh, right. Well, so no spaceships then. And no spacemen either. 
Oh, well. Win some, lose some. After all the excitement, everyone went home and went to bed. And forgot all about flying saucers and spacemen. As Matt had been up all night, he was really tired. So tired that he forgot he'd left the video camera in the field. But then, the battery ran out. Here's Tractor Tom, 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 Tom. Tom. What would we do without you? Three cheers for Tom, 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 Tom. Tom. Hooray! We couldn't do it without you. We couldn't do it without you.